Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a uh, video tutorial on something that I have personally never done before, but we are just going to go ahead and uh, try this for the first time and I'm going to kind of share my experiences um, on what it is going to be like. And today is we are going to be taking the arms of the early 2000 era movie body and we are going to be transplanting them on to the 2010 body. Um, I do like the body shape. I like the legs, because um, the legs, you know, they can do more splits, and then like for posing and taking photos, they can cross over each other. Um, where the original style body cannot do that. They only have the legs that swivel back and forth. So we are gonna try replacing the arms from this body onto this body today. Um, some of the things that I think that you will probably need um, will be a hair dryer. Um, this will be for heating up the arms so when we uh, go ahead and cut them, um, you're gonna need possibly some fingernail clippers to clip this wire which I have gotten here. Um, I got this at my Michaels store. This is what we're going to be using to hold the arm in place to the new body. Uh, this is the size and then this is the barcode. Um, if you would like that. We are also going to be needing a lighter to heat up the wire to push through the arms. And you will also be needing an X-Acto knife. Um, I have two of them. I don't know which one is going to work best, so I will just have both of them here. Personally, for me, I'm gonna wanna take off my doll's head so that the hair does not get in the way. Uh, the easiest way to do that is push down and pull off. So what we are going to do now is we're going to heat up these arms. Um, that way we can get the X-Acto knife up in between the top portion in there uh, so that we can cut that off. Arm area is nice and warm. Um, as you can see, it's kind of rubbery. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our X-Acto knife and just cut up in that top area. Let's go ahead, stick the knife in just a little bit, kind of scoop it. We'll take a look. And if you're not worried about damaging these arms, um, unless if you plan on using them, I won't worry too much about it. I'm just going to do my best to try and uh, make them look somewhat nice. Uh, just because, just in case something happens, I want to make sure that I have them. So as you can see, we have cut through, saving the peg, just in case if you want to do that. If you don't, that's fine. We'll have to make sure that we will be more careful with uh, the movie body, because the movie arms are going to be the ones that we're going to want to uh, keep. Now we are going to be heating up that body, and we're going to be doing the same thing. So her arm is all hot and gummy, so we are going to, uh, this time I'm going to try cutting from the bottom side. Um, that way if I damage anything on the top of the arm, like the last one, it will not be seen. Try not to um, just jam this knife in there mainly because A, you don't want to stick it through your, the rubber and then catch your finger on the other side. And B, we also don't want to try and uh, make a slit on the back of the arm because that will be unappealing. Granted, there will be clothes on, so we'll wiggle that out. Awesome. So overall, Looks like we saved a peg. Granted, there looks like there's some access gunk on there, but that's all right. So we're gonna try and save this peg. Um, I might have to cut off just a little bit of the end. If you can see, it looks like there's like some access plastic on there. Um, that way it's gonna slide through, hopefully, uh, the hole on this body so that we can have our arm replacement. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try doing that to the other side here. We're going to do from the back underside, so we'll be cutting right there.
Awesome. And it popped right off. So it looks like, so it looks like we salvaged this arm very well. So this will be the top front side that will be on the arm. So as you can see, there's gonna be no cuts, no bruises, anything, which is really, really awesome. Uh, we managed to save the peg, which is fantastic. So we will go ahead now and see if we can fit this on the new body. Take the back end. Try and work your way around. It may take a little bit to get the peg through. Oh, it looks like I'm tearing it by trying to work it on. So you may actually be better cutting that off, which we will actually just go ahead and do. It may work better in this instance. Um, in other instances, it may not. So it still looks like I got a little bit of a tear on top of the arm, but like I said, that's from me like bending the rubber and trying to work that thing in. So it actually looks like on this body, it's going to be a better fit without this peg. This is a really, really great fit. So, so far that seems like to be a pretty good fit. So it looks like cutting off um, those little pegs on the inside seem to help the arm fit on there better. Um, from the top view, this is what it is going to look like uh, so far. So this is my fault. I made these little tears on top, uh, like I said, from trying to work the arm over with that peg. So maybe that's actually uh, not the best solution. Um, but that is trial and error, and that's why I am making this video with you guys for the first time. So our next task is to get this wire here to go through the arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to be heating up the tip of this wire and we're gonna push it straight through so that it comes out here. And then we're gonna clip off the ends for a clean finish. I have done a leg transplant once for one of my Bratz dolls. Um, I did a body modification and you do not have to heat these up very, very long. Just gonna take a little heat. What are you gonna do? Let's go ahead. like this wire is kind of cheap so all right so because I was stupid and I bought really thin wire that constantly is bending I have some really small sewing needles um, that I will actually use in place of those because these are a lot more firm so what we'll do is we'll just heat the tip of this up a little bit just to make it warm to kind of go through the plastic uh, like I said we're not going to heat it up too much and then once we poke it through we will take our nail clippers and then we will go ahead and clip each end Just enough to get it warm. And then what we're gonna do is we are just going to go ahead. It's going to go ahead. And poke it through just like that. So the arm as of right now does feel a little loose on the joint, um, but that's bound to happen. Um, that's why I was kind of hoping to uh, save those pegs um, from before, but it didn't look like that was going to be an option as it was tearing the arm. So if you'd rather have a torn arm but a more stable arm, I would recommend that. Otherwise, this arm will be fine, especially with clothes on. It should be okay. Uh, so far, it doesn't look like we seem to have any issues with posing, uh, which is nice. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that in here quick. And something I would recommend is either if you have a pliers or a table to kind of help push it through. I'm actually going to grab some pliers. What we'll do is we'll go ahead, heat up the tip just a little bit. And we'll go ahead. Going through down on this arm as well. This arm feels a little bit more snug, so it might just kind of be uh, the placement that I had um, put that one. So what we will go ahead and do now. All right, so we officially have that through, which is exciting. We're going to have to clip off the ends of each. All right, guys, so what after felt like forever, I was finally able to um, get the wires down. Uh, this one 
It's still poking out a little bit. That's not going to bother me as much. Uh, nail clippers did not work well. Maybe if I had that thin wire, um, I was expecting that to get cut by that. But with sewing needles that I used, um, and this is just a pack I had, um, they were a lot sturdier to push through. I didn't have any issues bending where, as you can see, that just like bends to nothing. It was so ignore that. Ignore the nail clippers possibly depending on what you use. Um, what I did is I took these uh, pliers and I just kept bending it back and forth until they broke down into something small. But as you guys can see, um, with the arms down, they are actually quite hidden, which is nice. You can see um, a little bit of it there. Um, the backs will show and this is pricking out just a tiny bit. So I'll have to make sure that doesn't get caught on clothing. Um, but I have full range of motion in the arms. Um, this still though, depending on um, the doll's arm joints, it may be stiffer to move, so you will have to be careful. This is not meant for children. This is meant for photography and adult collectors to display their dolls. Um, so I do not recommend doing this for a child to have um, their favorite doll be posable. I would just recommend swapping the heads on the different bodies. Uh, but this is more for collectors who wanted to uh, enjoy certain aspects of different uh, body types throughout the years of Bratz and just kind of combine them. So this was a fun video. Thank you guys so much for actually like going along with me because I didn't know how this was going to turn out and it actually ended up working really, really good. And overall, I'm very, very happy with this outcome. Um, so this was a Chloe body with a Chloe with a Jade movie body, actually, but Chloe and Jade have the same skin tone uh, for most of the lines. So this wasn't an issue. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comment section. If you guys end up doing this and have any other recommendations or if you use any different tools or items, please let me know down, oh, wrong hand, down in the comment section because I would really like to know uh, what you guys ended up doing and it may make it a whole heck of a lot easier for other people watching this video or for myself who wants to end up doing this in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!